dear brothers and sisters in Christ all of us know that our Lord Jesus was famous for his parables the New Testament records about 30 separate stories today we will concentrate on the parable of the sower the seeds the souls the sower the seeds the souls brothers and sisters the parable of the four soils is found in every gospel except John's the disciples then and we people now must understand that this story is not a lesson in agriculture the parable tells God's redemptive work throughout his world God gives his word but people respond in different ways the good seed is defined as the word of God the people's responsibility is to accept the message or word the sower is any spirit filled person who shares God's word with others brothers and sisters four kinds of people are represented by the four soils all four kinds receive the same message the heart serves as the center of a person's reasoning power it represents the inner being of an individual out of which attitudes and values come when God speaks to our hearts a cosmic battle for the effectiveness of that word breaks out a hard ground or a hard heart is unresponsive or unmoved at the word of God brothers and sisters some people let others or things or situations make their heart so hard that Satan can keep the word from entering their heart they might never attend church or they may attend church regularly they hear the word but fail to take hold of it for they are lost and hardened in their sin God's word has no real effect on them the seed in the rocky soil represents a word that enters only superficially into a person's heart this speaks of a person who is emotionally touched and when the feelings go away the faith also dwindles brothers and sisters they only accept the facts of the word emotionally intellectually or superficially and reject it when the going gets tough Jesus offers no comfort for such a person pointing out that the seed never bears fruit the thorny soil represents those who are choked by life's distractions cares affect those who live in poverty riches affect those who live in prosperity pleasure affects everyone cares affect those who live in poverty riches affect those who live in prosperity pleasure affects everyone these folk hear the word but don't meditate on it and absorb it deep into their lives brothers and sisters instead of building their lives on the teachings of the word they go on their way they have little time for God's word thus they cannot mature in God they let life choke out and suck dry every opportunity for the seed to come to fruit bearing maturity clearly wrong priorities can kill off the seed of the word the good soil is the fourth group consisting of those who listen retain the word 
and bear spiritual fruit which is the evidence of spiritual life the emphasis here is not is on those who don't simply hear the word but hold it within their heart for reflection and obedience believers bring forth fruit with perseverance and patience brothers and sisters as jesus ministry progressed it was evident that each of these groups surfaced first the hard-hearted pharisees and religious leaders refused to believe secondly some people rallied around jesus because of his miracles of healing and feeding but the sallow-hearted refused to stay with his message thirdly the distracted hearted such as the rich ruler were interested in jesus but would not accept him because of the strong pull of the materialistic world the good hearted followed him and finally were committed to his word regardless of the difficulties in closing let us introspect is the life of christ growing and producing spiritual fruit within us is the life that is the very center of the kingdom of god the very center of our earthly life if not let us make amends amen